If you're thinking about hiring a drywall contractor or renting an expensive piece of equipment to match a orange peel finish, there's a better way. This is a tip from Don Mathis out of Maycomb, Illinois, one of our great tipsters. And what Don does is he takes a, a squeeze bottle, this one's an old chalk uh, bottle for a, a chalk line, and he thins out a little bit of uh, joint compound, puts it in here, and then squeezes it out along with his air gun and just dribbles it across the surface of his patch. Let's see if we can get it to work. Now this is the kind of tip that you're going to want to practice on a scrap piece before you start working on the actual work piece. What I did was to experiment with the, the consistency of the drywall compound. The wetter it gets, the more blobbage you're going to get on the piece. It's going to spread out a little bit more. to make it a little bit drier and it, and it has more of a fine particle effect when it hits. Now if you're going to put this mixture in a container that used to carry food in it, and it still says food on it, make sure you put a piece of tape on it that says it's no longer food. Thanks, Don. Good tip. Watch out, Jackson Pollock. <laughs>